welcome back to my channel guys so sorry if you can hear a little squealing in the background during this video i've got my baby girl in here yeah what are you doing <laughs> um you'll be able to hear octonauts as well because that's what she's watching i'm a mummy so i don't get to do these types of things on my own so i come to you with what you can probably see is another unboxing video i did say in my previous video that i don't have any more unboxing this was like a very brief last minute purchase because the spider shop and bugs uk had a few things in stock that i really really wanted this is going to be the last thing until bts these were some things that i was going to get at bts but seeing as i saw it on um uh, not spiders world the spider shop in the uk um i thought do you know i might as well just get it now i'm able to afford to do that so why not why why not treat myself i'm a stay at home mum i have to enjoy myself in another manner so we'll start with the smaller one this is from um martin french at bugs uk this hasn't got any tarantulas in it but it does have um something else so let me open it up and I will come back and explain it so as usual I've opened up the box from um, from Bugs UK and they have kindly given me a little leaflet that shows about um, BTS at the Warwickshire Exhibition Centre on uh, Sunday the 20th of May if you're into your tarantulas you want to go to this show this show is amazing you'll be able to find this leaflet all over Facebook um, they've also given me one for the Northern Invert Show, although I think, ah, no, sorry, that one's the one that I went to recently, but then on the back, it's got the Western Invert Show and the Eastern Invert Show, um, one in July and one in September. I'll be going to both of those as well. So, as usual, lights, nice, fantastic packaging all in here. So, we'll start off with the boring bit. I have got some, um, cuttlefish bone here. Now, you may then be able to guess what else is in here um, and what might be in my big box based on this because this is a good source of calcium, I believe, for a certain invert. So, let's see if I can find it. This packaging is awesome, as always. Right, look at all that. <laughs> that makes a right mess. So, in here, I have some beetle grubs. I cannot remember for the life of me the scientific name for these or the common name. I know that they are like metallic-y green when they grow. These are only small beetle grubs at the moment. Uh, no, they are medium beetle grubs, so they've still, and these can take um, nine to 12 months to fully pupate and, and turn into a, a beetle. Um, so they're not quite there yet, but they shouldn't be too much longer. So let's see if I can find these grubs. Give me two minutes, guys. I know I'm using a knife, which is probably not the best thing, but... Oh, there's one. Ew, I have never owned these before, so I'm not sure if they bite. I'm guessing that they can. But, if I can get it out, I can then show it to you. So, it is... I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me just... Here. And I have three of these. Oh, they're so gross like this. I love beetles, but I hate them when they're grubs. They're just... Oh, so it buried itself again. But yeah, I was really excited to spot these and I just thought, you know what, for three pounder a grub, couldn't go wrong so I thought hey you know what why not so that is my unboxing for bugs UK not much in there so now this is not full of tarantulas by the way okay guys I'm just letting you know nice great big box I'm not that silly this is not full of spiders 
So this is from the spider shop, so I will go ahead and open it and then I will show you right, guys what off with. As you can see, loads and loads and loads of chips. Okay, so let's start with the boring stuff. This is a bag of moss. Pretty self-explanatory for why I would want a bag of moss. Some of my pokies and stuff like to use this. They throw it up and create like a, like a what they call a curtain web. Sorry, I'm just gonna put Octonaut back on for my, my baby girl before she starts squealing. Um, yeah, so they like to create a curtain web and, and things like that, so that's really good. I have also then got, I ordered my first, um, this is a small, a small enclosure from them. I will unbox that and, and get it out and show you. I'm just wondering if there was a receipt so that I can remember exactly what I bought. No, right, so I'm gonna have to go digging around in here because I have ordered a fair bit. So there is also absolutely loads of this. This is about one, uh, one kg of cork bark. I actually didn't realize it would come like this. So what's gonna have to happen is I have to use my sort of Dremel tool and break these down um, because I actually need lots of cork bark but in much smaller varieties but this you know this is amazing for the price i mean it was you can't go wrong really um okay so that's my box i can check if there's more cork yes this i thought there would be two more pieces of cork bark here just wiggle my hand around because i've got some food and then some other bits in here okay so I will go ahead and open this box up and then I'll be back with you. Right, so in here should be a few things. So I'm gonna get rid of some of these. So I see one thing here. So this, it's my H. Paul Gripes. This is the Blue Leg Baboon. I think, I think that's the common name. I have wanted one of these for forever there will be a rehousing video in a different video because i've got some other things to rehouse but this was just an unboxing video to show you what i got so that's my h pork wipes and this one i am just so excited to own i have wanted one forever this is a samopius victory uh I think it's called Careless Whisper. It's gonna be like a black and red cut. I mean, it's just a stunning tea when it grows and for the price, I had to grab one. These are notorious, even as slings, for having a bit of a defensive attitude and they will kind of whip around and face you off. They're not afraid, little things. Well, they probably are scared. I mean, we're a lot bigger than they are, but they are quite happy to stand their ground. So it should be fun rehousing this little one, which as I said, I'm not gonna do right now. Right, and there should be some other bits in here, so let's just keep removing some of these styrofoam chips. I will fast forward through this part. What is in here? Oh yay! I forgot about these, which is silly. So this is for rainbow millipedes. How cool is that? They don't, I'll, I'll get one out in a minute, but look. How beautiful is that? They're really soft and they're not moving much at the moment. They're probably a little afraid and don't really understand what's going on. But yeah, so I have four small rainbow millipedes to add to my collection. Sorry, please ignore that noise. That would be my baby. And here, Ah, fantastic. We have my bean weevil culture. This is to feed my slings because these are tiny. Bean weevils are fantastic because they don't have bite parts for mouths. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but they suck from the bean and so um, they cannot bite my tiny, tiny tarantulas. So that's really, really cool to have. Let's keep moving this packaging this is so well packaged guys i mean there's just i've never seen so many styrofoam chips and what have we got here i think this is it oh some more bean weevils which 
Yeah, so pack, pack two of Bean Weevil. I'll just run my hand through the box to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. And, <coughs> excuse me, last but not least, this is two packs but in one box of Red Runners. This is to add to my colony down there to get them boosted again because I had been feeding some of them off before allowing them to reproduce and get my colony going. So these are going in there to help keep it going. So for a recap, H. Paul Cripes, Smopius Victory, four Rainbow Millipedes, three Beetle Grubs, two packs of Red Roaches, two packs of Bean Weevil Colony, one terrestrial enclosure, one bag of moss, a piece of cuttlefish bone, and loads and loads of cork bark. So, that is my unboxing for today, guys. Stay tuned for the rehouse of all of these and more. I've also got an awesome feeding video coming up super soon as well, so stay tuned. And remember, if I get to 200 subscribers, drop your name down below when I post a video saying, yay, 200 subscribers, on that video, if you then drop your name, I will enter all the names that get dropped in over the course of, I don't know, let's say five days. I will then do a competition giveaway and I'm giving away one sling, totally at my expense. I will ship it, package it, send it. Um, yeah, so stay tuned guys.